Yo, what's happening gang? Welcome to your 27th Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about partial views. Okay then dudes, so in the last tutorial we added to our template using this code right here, so we cycled through our hobbies and output them to the screen like so. So in this tutorial I want to talk about partial views. So at the minute we've only got one view, this profile.ejs file. Imagine we had several. One for the profile, one for the homepage, one for the contact, etc. Now currently, we're just serving up the contact and homepage using these index files right here. We're not using EJS templates, and we're doing that using the send file method. So imagine I want to make these into views. Now, then we'd have three views, right? And on each view, we're probably going to have elements which are similar. You know, they're common to each view, such as the navigation. Presumably, we're going to have the same navigation in each of those three views. So what we could do is we could hard code the navigation into each one of the views, or we could make a partial template for the navigation. Then we could include that navigation partial template in each one of these views. So what's the benefit of that? Well, first of all, we don't have to code it three times. Secondly, if we make a change to the navigation, we don't have to go into each one of those individual template files. And we could have 10, we could have 20, um, and we don't have to change each one. We just go into the one partial view, which contains our navigation code, change it there, and it's going to update on each one of the views that we include that partial view on. So let's do that. Let's create, first of all, a partial view for our navigation. So the way I like to do this is create a partial folder in my views folder. So I'm going to right click, go to new folder and call this partials. Then in here, I'm going to create a new file called nav.ejs. So this is going to be the partial view for my navigation. So let's just do a nav, oops, a nav element first of all. And I'm going to keep this really simple, ul. And then inside the ul, I'm going to just do a couple of li tags. Um, with links, they don't need to link anywhere at the minute. Uh, we'll call this one home. Then we'll copy this dude and paste it down below. And call this one contact. All right, cool, so let's save that. And now what we wanna do is include this partial view, first of all, into our profile view. So how do we do that? Well, what we need to do is use an include statement. And that include statement needs to sit in between these EJS tags. We don't need the equal sign. Remember, that's for outputting the data. We just need these two right here. So let's copy that. And I'm going to do it just before the H1 here. And I'm going to say include. This is how we include a partial view and then a path to that partial view. Now, from here, the relative URL to that is going to be in the partials folder and then forward slash nav.ejs. And then we just need to close out our EJS tags as well. So if we save this now, what I'm going to do is just come down here and type rs. This is going to restart the server for me just to catch those changes in case it didn't. And I'm going to refresh over here. And now we should see that navigation at the top, home and contact. And yet this doesn't look great, but the idea here is not to teach you CSS and styling. I'm just showing you Node.js partial views. So now we can insert this partial view on any template we have. At the minute, it's just in the profile view. But let's go ahead and create templates for the index and the contact. So new file in here, we'll call this index.ejs. And let's just grab all of this junk in here in the HTML file and dump it in here. But instead of nothing here, we're going to include this thing, this partial template. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in the same place on the index template. Cool. So now we've got a home view. Let's do the same for the contact. I'll go to views, new file, contact.ejs. And again, I'm going to grab everything in the contact HTML file first of all, dump it in here. And let's again grab this include statement to include the navigation right there as well. Cool. So now we have that partial view included in each one of these three views. Now, currently in the app.js, when we request the home page or the contact, we're sending the HTML files. Yeah, we don't want to do that anymore. We want to render these views. So first of all, we need to change these things to render like so. That's how we render views, just like the profile one right here. And then secondly, we need to pass through the view name. 
So let's get rid of this junk right here and pass through the view name, which is index. And remember, we just need to write the view name because it knows automatically to look into the views folder. Okay, and the next one is just gonna be profile, not profile, sorry, contact. Okay, cool. So let's save that and let's come over here, refresh this. Everything's still okay with the profile view, but if we go to the home page now, then we get the navigation at the top as well. It's styled a little differently just because of the styles in the head right here. But we still get that HTML injected using this include statement. And also if we go to the contact page, then we get it as well, cool. So now if we just make a change to this one file, it's gonna update on all of these three templates. So I'm gonna add in a link right here, forward slash for home, forward slash contact for the contact page. Save that and then I'm just gonna restart the server to catch those changes and a refresh. So now when I click the home page, should take me home. Now when I click the contact page, should take me to the contact page. Pretty cool, right? And again, I know this looks pretty pants, but uh, this is not a design course, this is a Node.js course. And I'm just showing you the, the, uh, the techniques here that we can use to include partial views into our templates. So any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise guys, I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial.